Meantime, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Pearl McMillan tells us a bit more about where clusters are a concern. Of note, New Providence seven-day moving average represented by the orange dotted line shows a modest incline or upward trend, while the family island groupings and Grand Bahama reflect a decline represented by the blue dotted line and the gray dotted line. We must continue to be vigilant. The Ministry of Health, through its contact tracing officers, has identified four distinct clusters of COVID-19 cases, which have emerged within the last 10 to 14 days. The cases associated with these clusters account for nearly 30% of all new cases, i.e., that is 162 reported during the last two weeks. The CMO says the second wave of COVID-19 remains protracted, now at 231 days and counting. Islands constituting the Michael group of continue to have extended periods without new cases, as you can see on the graph. Over the past three months, the maximum number of days without new cases for Abaco has been 14, Andrus 19 days, and Eleuthera 12 days. This streak, however, has been interrupted. And since mid-December 2020, these islands report new cases on an intermittent basis. Grand Bahama and New Providence continue to add new cases almost daily.